Hi. In the last video, I have shown you how to create a footprint for an SMD register using the pattern template, right? But I personally don't recommend this method to design footprints. The reason is this method will be useful only if the uh, pads used in the footprints are of equal sizes and also the spacing between these uh, pads are uniform. So I will show a footprint of a USB connector here. So in this footprint you can see the pads are of different sizes and also the spacing is not uniform here. So in this kind of footprints we cannot completely depend on the uh, pattern template here. You have to do some manual calculations and place the footprints individually like I have shown in the video of uh, through old register footprint creation. So you can refer these Wikipedia page where you can see different types of uh, IC packages. Footprint creation is one of the most important steps in PCB design. If you do any mistake in creating a footprint, it will affect the whole PCB design. So I recommend you to download data sheets of different packages listed here and practice as much as you can in designing footprints. It will make you uh, to design footprints more faster and make you clear in the process of designing footprints. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a footprints of an SOT23 package. I mean, this is a footprint of a transistor. So just scroll down to the bottom of the data sheet where you can see the solder pad recommended by the company. All right. So just go to deep trace pattern editor and create a new library for that. So I'm going to create a new library named as SOT23 and click on OK. So name it as MM like mentioned in the data sheet so I'm going to leave it as MMT for demonstration purposes so first step is to place the pad in the axis so just click on properties and place the pad in the origin click on OK so we need to change the width and the height of the footprint here. So the height of the footprint is 0 0.9. So click on properties, click on types and dimensions. So height is 0 0.9, right? 0 0.9 and the width of the pad is mentioned as 0 0.9. 8 click on ok so this is the first pad and we need to place another two pads here right so the height between these two pads I mean the pitch will be 2.90 minus half of this pad and half of this pad so it will give you 0 0.9 right I mean it will give you calculator 2.90 minus 0 0.9 will give you 2 right so the pitch between the pads in y axis is to again I will give on properties go to here that will be first fix the pad click on to now sorry it should be placed in the negative y axis it will be minus 2 click on ok and next is the pitch between the in the y-axis that is 0 0.95 right so again I will go here and click on the pad again click on properties 
so here minus 0 0.95 click on ok next will be the third pad which will also be this you having the uniform spacing between them so I'm going to copy the values from the second pad so it will be 2 mm and the x will be 0 0.95 Here minus will become since the pad should be placed in in the negative axis. So let's measure now to whether the pads are placed correctly. First we can measure the y axis. So 2.9 is correct. As you can see the data sheet 2.9 is correct so next is the pitch is from the axis that is 0 0.95 I'll just click this symbol Zero point nine five for this pad 0 0.95 right so just click on edit and center pattern now so next we need to draw the assembly layer as you can see the measurements here E, D and H, E so first E is 1.20 a maximum of 1.30 right that is nominal and 1.40 is the maximum so let's go for the maximum value here for E 1.40 and for D it will be 3.04 so let's divide both the values to place the assembly layer so 3.04 by 2 will give you 1.52 let's go and mark that now 1.52 is D and for E it will be 1.40 by 2 1.40 by 2 will give you 0 0.7 0 0.7 is E right so just go to the tool again with the rectangle symbol click on top assembly and draw a random box over here next click on the box and click on properties again click on the first point that is D is the x axis here so 1.52 and Y will be the e value here that is 0 0.7 right so 0 0.7 and the next point is opposite opposite of this it will be 1.52 and minus 0 0.7 click on ok so now you can see the assembly layer fitted here so let's go and measure it again to make sure whether we have designed it correctly so as you can see 3.04 as mentioned in the data sheet here that is D is 3.04 and for E it is 1.40 right so let's go and check it again it is 1.4 yes we have designed the footprint correctly let's go and merge the all the layers first
so now we have finished designing a footprint so i recommend you to design a footprint in this method not based on this pattern template here all right so if you have any doubts in this video just go ahead and ask your doubt in the learn pcb design group and i am always happy to help you so see you in the next video bye bye